I was born here on December 7, 1931, and I left here in 1952. My dad died in that year and mother sold the place and I went off and lived on my own. She hated to give up this place. This was so much home to her. It was a warm house. Uh, it said, come in. Uh, Mom would like to throw all kinds of parties here, uh, tea parties, card playing and so on. So it was a very social place also. She played the piano and sang quite a bit. So there was always music in the house. Growing up here, we had a lot of room to play. Uh, upstairs, downstairs in the basement, 15 room house. We as kids could rattle around in here and hide from mom and dad basically. To me, a house is not just bricks and mortar and wood and nails, it's what goes on inside. Where you're allowed to express yourself without concern. Uh, where you learn manners. Uh, where you learn to interact with other people who have been invited into your house. So there was a lot of warmth here, and it showed up many ways. My mother was quite a good Samaritan, and so we picked up on that. We had good guidance from our parents, and I think that's partly what makes a house a home, is the kind of guidance you get, the love, the understanding, the chance to voice your opinion without being put down. You're allowed to make mistakes and not suffer too much from them, those kinds of things. Mother didn't want us to get big-headed about how we live and where we live. The community's been nice to you, you be nice to the community. And we went around collecting metal and lard and so on for uh, ammunition in those days. After I left the Air Force, I went down to the police department. First the sheriff's office and then the Fort Collins Police Department. So I felt that was giving back also. From the Fort Collins Police Department, I decided I couldn't help kids as much as I could if I became a teacher. So I graduated CSU and, and became a teacher. Then I got a master's in counseling and then I became a minister. I got a master's in administration. I was assistant principal at Lincoln to help build the new Lincoln out on Vine. Then when I left there, I went to work for the district attorney's office as a juvenile investigator, which was just perfect job. So yeah, I think I've been giving back all the time. I've traveled all over the world, literally. And every time I come back here, I say, good, I'm back home again. Fort Collins has got a lot to give if you just let it give. <laughs>